This video is sponsored by sellcashier.com. They compare iPhone prices on the internet and give you their instant quote and the most cash for your iPhone. Hello everyone, this is Ed from Techvarium. Since my previous video comparison between a fake iPhone 6s and a real Apple iPhone 6, many of you asked to do a comparison involving the recently released iPhone 6s with that same fake iPhone 6s. So what I'm going to do today is I will run several benchmarks on both of these phones and you will see what the results are in just a few minutes. Our benchmarks will include a boot up speed test, browser speed test, web video speed, performance speed test, which will include a couple of different apps. And then finally, I will benchmark both phones through the Geekbench 3 and Tudu and 3 d Mark, which are all available for both iOS as well as the Android devices. The phone that gets the most points will obviously be our ultimate winner. So what you guys see me doing right now on your screens is I'm doing the boot up speed test, push the button simultaneously and see who wins. And surprisingly, 14 seconds, I was being sarcastic, 14 seconds on the real one and 25 on the fake. Next episode here is going to be weather.com and how quickly the website is opened up. I choose weather.com for these reviews because it's very, very information dense. And so obviously it takes a while longer for the fake iPhone 6s to boot it up. But then also when you try to open the video, there's a significant delay on the fake. So obviously the winner is going to be the real iPhone 6s. So next up is Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. You will see that I did tap on the screen, but there's a delay in opening the application. And when you navigate through the landscape on your screen on both of these phones, it's fairly similar, but there's a slight delay and there's a slight lag on the fake iPhone success, simply because of how the screen is made and how responsive it is. So there is a delay in iPhone, the real iPhone success is the winner again. And next up is Google Earth and how you could search for a particular city, which you can see on your screens right now. Uh, while real iPhone success is a little bit more fluid and it takes a little bit longer to navigate into the city, the way that the data loads onto the device is actually a little bit quicker on the real iPhone 6S. And as you can see right now, there's a little bit of a lag. I would actually say it's quite substantial when you uh, try to navigate through the landshaft on the fake iPhone 6S. So, Shocking, the winner is the real iPhone 6S by Apple. And now to something that is a little bit more objective, which is Geekbench 3. And here's the result on your screen. I saved you some time by cutting out the segment where the test is actually performed. Uh, again, you know, shocking, being sarcastic that the real iPhone 6S is the winner. And I'm browsing just for you to see the results, uh, some, some of the specifics of what Geekbench 3 actually tests for. So the winner is the real iPhone 6S. And this is Antutu Benchmark. I will splice the video and just get to the gist of it, but this is the visual representation of what Antutu Benchmark does. Uh, just a couple of different segments. There's a lot of lagging that pretty much happens all the time. Uh, the frames per second, the, the rate is pretty low. And this is what the comparison looks like uh, between, you know, from these two phones to some of the other models available for sale by other manufacturers. But in just a second, I will show you what the actual scores are. And here you go. And I'm, iPhone 6s is definitely a winner on this one. And the last but not the least is 3D Mark. Obviously, the winner is going to be the real iPhone 6s. I'll tell you ahead of time. But the frames per second rate on the fake iPhone 6s were so low that occasionally it was reaching uh, 10 frames per second. So the winner is the real iPhone 6s. So as you can see, without a doubt, the ultimate winner of these benchmarks is a real Apple iPhone 6S. So if you are thinking to get an iPhone clone, think about it twice and always be aware of iPhone clones when you purchase your next real iPhone success from Craigslist or eBay. That's the tip for the day. If you have some questions, please post those down below and I will do my best to get back to you. If you enjoyed this video, show some love to that like button down below and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel if you've enjoyed the speed test video. See you guys in my next Aquarium video very soon. I want to tell you about sellcashier.com. So you just got your new iPhone. What will you do with your old one? You may be thinking of selling it on eBay, Craigslist, and so on. And that is definitely a hassle. Now you don't have to do that. Now you can sell it through sellcashier.com. They compare the actual prices of iPhones and give you the best price for your iPhone that you are trying to sell. And the good thing is, is that you are guaranteed the best rate. You also get a free shipping label. Thank you for watching and please check out sellcashier.com.